So this is essentially a leadership development retreat, but I call them forwards. I don't call them retreats because retreat means to recoil and to move back. I call them a corporate forward, a leadership forward, because that means to move forward, to move ahead. And this specific forward is called testing your inner and outer strength as a leader. And what we've been working on over the last couple of days and the importance of the three days is looking at skills in leadership, is looking at where are we at in leadership today, what are the obstacles, how are we going to overcome those obstacles. And when Aaron came in, we were able to introduce everything that we worked on throughout the day so we could now pull those obstacles and that reflection into our climbing today where we, we have the physical sense of overcoming these obstacles. I think if there's a, a direct connection between my story and what people are experiencing in their lives, is that they need some encouragement to, to overcome these obstacles. So with the rock climbing aspects of what we're doing is to tie in the metaphor of overcoming obstacles. Climbing cliffs, doing things they hadn't done before, leaving behind the safety of the ground to take on some risks to accomplish a goal of climbing to the top. So it's, it's just making the metaphor of, uh, of what they are going to be doing with the development plans, but doing it out on the cliffs. You know, we have a, a group of about eight, eight people with this one, and I wanted it to be a small group so that everyone did have that opportunity to meet each other and to feel comfortable with each other and to really encourage each other to move forward. The main strength that Rebecca and Half Full brings to this development program is that she does these kinds of programs all the time. That's her, her primary business. And the, the complimentary aspect of it is that you know, she's never been on rock, but I can come out and help people and encourage them in climbing. Uh, even demonstrate how I climb and, and they can see that I've taken what's come to me and accelerated in my life. That this has not at all been a tragedy or even a loss in any, in any way. That it's, it's really been something that I've gained from it and I, that's, that's how I think we fit together quite well. This whole story between uh, me and Aaron was uh, when I had read Aaron's book Between a Rock and a Hard Place when that came out. I wanted to reach out to him and find out where are you at now? How are you going to overcome this obstacle? Where are you going to bring this in your life? And we've kept in touch with each other and when they filmed 127 hours I knew now's our time. Let's get out there and help individuals on a personal level move forward. And it's just been great. He's been awesome. We've, these workshops have just, we've gelled really well on all of this because we're both in line to help people move forward and to overcome those obstacles and those insecurities. Having Aaron here has been awesome. He's incredibly humble. He's demonstrated that just constantly and, and really made it a joy for all of us. You know, it's good inspiration. It's good having like those motivated people around and he's got a lot of good things to say about business and life and seeing Mario that's 16 and that's gonna have a prosthetic arm and, and climb like Aaron is, is incredible. He's been a big inspiration to me because I'm getting a prosthetic and he has a prosthetic and what he went through, it just really inspired me. Leadership starts inside and you have to feel good, you have to be good and you have to want good as an individual in order to be a strong leader. So I want all these guys to walk away feeling that and feeling motivated to take that next step. If there's one thing that my story can, can teach any of us is that we're all, each and every one of us, capable of, of something a lot more than what we think is, is possible.